Good morning, South Rock. Welcome to a Mark Devo. Today is Mark 15, 6 through 15, and it is a harrowing story of Jesus before a crowd. So Pontius Pilate has uh, Jesus and a man named Barabbas in front of the crowd, and he, as is his tradition, always releases one prisoner to the people uh, during this Passover week. And so he asks, who do you want me to release to you, Barabbas or the king of the Jews? And they get riled up and say Barabbas. And so Barabbas is set free. And uh, he's, <laughs> it's interesting. Barabbas is in other gospels and from what we can understand about his character is, uh, what's a good word for it? A revolutionary. He's trying to overthrow the Roman government. So this isn't a great man that you want to release. Uh, but the stark contrast of these two men is interesting. So Jesus is the son of, is called and calls himself the son of man. Now that's, I bring this up because Barabbas literally means the son of a man. Uh, Bar is a traditional, is the Hebrew word or a traditional name to mean son of. So whenever you see the name Bar something, Barnabas, Barabbas, it's son of somebody. And this is Bar Abbas. And Abbas is the word for father or, uh, yeah, for dad. And so it's a very colloquial term for dad in Aramaic or Hebrew. So this is literally the son of man being pitted against the son of a man. And both of these men want to <laughs> overthrow something. Jesus wants to overthrow sin and the kingdom of sin. And Barabbas wants to overthrow the Roman government. And so it really is just this stark contrast of, do you want to be released of your sin or do you want to be released of Roman bondage? And they choose something that Israel always chooses. They choose the free from human or the freedom from government. They don't choose the freedom from sin. And, and so it's this very telling verse. These are very telling verses of the, of the people of the word. This is a very telling story of how Jews have reacted to God from the beginning. But it's also telling of us. We tend to do this. We tend to choose the world over God in a lot of circumstances. Uh, and so that's really the question today is, uh, when have you chosen Barabbas over Jesus? When have you chosen the son of a man over the son of, <laughs> the son of man? And then how can you today choose Jesus over and over again over the world? What are ways that you can look to Jesus before you look to the world periodically today? I want you to remember that. I want you to pray over that. As you go through your day, just pray, God, let me choose you and not the world today. God, let me choose you and not my sin or not my nature, whatever it is. But anyway, that's all I have for you. I hope you have a good day.